Hi guys, so today we're visiting Barnsdale Gardens in Rutland. So those for you who don't know, uh, Barnsdale Gardens was actually created by Jeff Hamilton for the BBC Two series, Gardeners World. And uh, obviously it's still open today and the gardens still look as amazing as they did when he created them. Could, uh, could do with the weather working out what it wants to be doing at the minute. One minute it's blazing hot, and it's cold, and it's raining, and it's windy, and it's hot again. And I'll be honest with you, it's been a bit of a nightmare. I was supposed to get out a bit earlier today and it was chucking it down. So uh, now it's turned nice and just gonna make the most of it. And so far, just going around these gardens, it's been really enjoyable. It's brilliant things to see. All the flowers are in bloom. There's a lovely smell in the air. It's quite busy because there's a couple of coaches here, um, but there's a tea room. There's toilet facilities and everything you kind of need for a nice little uh, day out. Oh, hidden prong right there. Let's see if we can find this hidden pond then, eh? It's quite a nice little sitting area, so I've shaped it so the trees are sort of made a bit of a dome, but some seats down there, and uh, quite a nice little place to just come and chill out for the day. No one even know you're here, oh, apart from Mrs. Outdoor, she knows I'm here, so can't really hide from her. So it's gone into this little greenhouse bit and as you can imagine, it really smells nice in here. It's all the flowers and that. But, uh, I was just complaining that we didn't have much sun. Now the sun's come out and it's absolutely boiling. So I might have to remove this in a minute, but what are they saying? 27 degrees in here. So I've lost, uh, so I've lost Mrs. Outdoors. It's like an art shop thing where they sell um, paintings. My obviously someone's been doing painting here, and she went in there about 15 minutes ago. I've had a little wander around the rest of the gardens and that, but uh, she's probably buying something knowing her. But she's been in there a while. I don't even really know how much she spent. fly on my ear well the sun's finally come back out it's a lot nicer now and uh you know quite a nice way to be spending a sunday just walking around these beautiful gardens uh, i suppose even if it was raining it'd still be quite nice but there's not much cover here apart from the tea rooms and stuff like that so uh, you do really want a good day to be coming and checking this place out It, guys it's fishy summer sunglasses are on constantly now until the next five minutes when it starts raining or the wind comes or bloody snow Rhubarb, maybe? Rhubarb. Oh, some lettuce.
scallions. Oh, it's got a nice little, uh, nice little garden going on here. Rhubarb. Rhubarb. It's not quite as good as the uh, award-winning rhubarb at that <laughs> the other place, yeah. but uh, here do. I fancy it's a bit in it. Eh? It's got its own marked-off bit. Very impressive. I'd definitely say as well, if you're looking for some inspiration for doing your own garden, this place is a great place to, uh, to come and check out. I mean, there's so many different sections of it. We just walked one half of it and uh, I didn't realize how big it was. Come over here and there's even more to explore. So the accessibility is pretty good as well. Uh, pretty even ground. There's a few areas where there's little like hidden footpaths and stuff like that, where you can sort of go off the trail around these little walkways and bits. So it's probably just worth bearing in mind if you're a bit uneasy on your feet, just be a little bit careful. Plenty of parking in the car parking area, which is free. Um, and then obviously, you know, just make your way through into the gardens, 14 pound per person. And uh, that's not too bad of a day out. I mean, it can be expensive and they do do family tickets. Um, but obviously, you know, we're coming, we're checking this place out and hopefully it inspire you guys to get down here as well. That's a really nice idea for a fire pit. Obviously it's just got the stone around the outside the uh, pebbles. And they just put a grid on top. I really like that. A little bridge to let the frogs in and out, that's very thoughtful. Two yeah. bins, didn't they? Hey? Bloody one of you came out, we paid to get in here. So you can tell a lot of work goes into the upkeep of these gardens because each area is immaculate and beautifully looked after unlike my garden which is uh, it's getting there but i'm not very green fingered i'm more of a camping drinking wandering around places that have already been pre-done looking nice kind of guy good at growing weeds though i said weeds not not the sort you smoke she a uh, plant nursery here as well where some of the plants that you see as you walk around are actually available to buy I won't be buying any because uh, they won't survive very long in my garden because as I mentioned earlier, I'm not very green fingered. But if you are, you can get me. I've been seeing a chiropractor, so every time I do something to the camera, I keep making myself conscious. I need to stand a bit taller, keep my back nice and straight. Ooh, and the only problem with that, I keep my head on branches and stuff. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. This has been Barnstow Gardens. I'm Lee Outdoors. And remember guys, until next time, if you're not outside, get outside.